everybody, welcome back. I'm Lucky, the channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. We got more Dragon's Dogma 2 for you today. We're gonna continue on with our main quest. We just took down the Cult of Salvation. Um, and what are we doing right now? Level 30. Doing pretty good there. The Water God's Altar. Oh yeah, okay, so we gotta do an escort quest now, guys. We've avoided them all until this point. Unfortunately, we've gotta get back in there and escort these researchers to the Water God's Temple. So let's go on out the gate here. No different countries. I city. believe this is where we meet him. We actually just turned that on as the act quest. Most of our other quests are just get three of these, kill four of those, whatever. Three chimeras here. Yeah. Intriguing. We're still rocking our fire daggers. <clears throat> that come pre-enchanted with fire. Found them down on the southern part of the island. Or wherever, southern part of the continent. Not sure if it is an island. I shall see you to the Water God's altar. Follow me. Will you? Hey, you go, he's gonna lead me to the Water God's altar. That's cool. This road should take us to the falls. Hey, really? Now we're starting to get pretty powerful now. We've got quite a few moves. We've got our six-fold shot. Let's I mean, are, are we gonna just... Oh, they're all the way down there already? Okay. Man, I don't have any fast travel stuff anywhere around there. Okay. I'm just gonna have to hoof it. But, you know, we've got a few, few... Magic uh, arrow spells. We've got a few dagger moves and stuff. Our character's starting to get a little powerful now. I wish I could really find a good weapon. Not that these aren't good, but they're not one of the top ten da <clears throat> daggers in the game. Most of the top weapons in the game you get from the Bitter Black DLC, and you get it from late game farming in the Bitter Black DLC. Of items that you can, I think it's disenchant or purge or purify, maybe. But either way, you pick up these items that are infected or have a curse on them, you purify them, they turn into either a weapon or some kind of armor or some kind of special item from Bitter Black Isle, but most of the top daggers and top bows and top uh, weapons are from that DLC. We have triumphed. No match for us. No match. Um, which way are we going here? Yeah, we need to take the sharp left here. This way, guys. And as we use these mushrooms, we'll get lighter and our encumbrance will go down. We'll get a little bit quicker. This looks nothing like where we were before. Sure doesn't, does it? I do like the way they've done the landscape in this game. <clears throat> like I say, there's some reset used assets. Like I pointed out that one rock formation that you see pretty much everywhere in the game. But that's just standard. I mean, you're going to have some repeat stuff no matter what you do. I just feel like there's enough stuff to keep you entertained. There's, an, there's enough stuff around each corner to keep you wanting to see what it is. And I really like how you can look off in the distance and say, I'm going there. And there you can go. We can do that all the way down to that beach there. I mean, we can see Casardus right there. That's Casardus, where we started out. It's down there. Anything special? Nah, not really. Ooh, we're going to have to go down that way? I guess so. Oh, nice. Look, see? For example, what I'm talking about. Evan Neckrat. Let's check that out. Sure looks cool. Way cooler than the one we got, but it's not as good. Minus three, minus one, minus eight. Or excuse me, down to eight percent. Yeah. Blindness upgrade, but no, nope, we'll pass on that, thank you. We're okay. Might pass that off to Muadib, our main pawn.
Ooh, green warish. Anytime you get a chance to get some green warish, potent, strong. Oh, look at him. Fought him before, haven't we? Oh no! Oh no! I knew that was gonna be bad when I did that. A cyclops, there! Oh, oh, oh. That's one of my favorite moves. See that? So you just knock everybody down in the dining room. And we're just gonna destroy this guy with our bow. Watch this. Boom. 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 Let's try this one. A brilliant hit! Let's try this one. The exploding arrow. Gonna explode, isn't it? Strike. Oh, that's the winning you break free. I wonder why that arrow doesn't. Oh, I think you have to go hit the arrow after you shoot him with it. I don't think it just explodes on its own. Yeah, here we go. Now he's on fire. Yeah, literally about this guy. You took his gun around the gang. There's no light about here. Over. Easy money. Easy, easy money. The misshapen eye. The rugged tusk. Come on, fall on you. Come on. Okay, we took him out. Is it all the way? Where is it? Is it on top of the waterfall over here? No, we need to go down and then take a sharp right. Somewhere in that direction, though. So, of course, it's March 1st today, 2024. Dragon's Dogma comes out at the end of the month, and I am getting excited about it. I will say I've got a slight amount of trepidation for it. Some of the gameplay that I've seen, even though I've tried to stay away from watching anything, I've tried, I've tried to, as soon as I see a commercial come on, I shut that shit off. As soon as I hear anybody talking about it, I shut that down. Um, I want it to be completely my own unbiased and unadulterated opinion on the game when I go to play it, which is how I like those games to be. But I'm really a little bit trepidatious that it's going to be just a cleaned up, high fidelity version of what this game is, you know. It'd be cool to go back to the land of Grannis again, but it'd be cool if we had something else besides the base game with just some extra stuff and everything cleaned up and looking great. You know, if we end up having a main character and his heart gets ripped out and we have to go chase down a dragon and it's going to be the same exact storyline, that will really kind of bum me out. So I hope they freshen things up in more ways than one. So to get there, I think we are going down there. Yep, yep, well, oh, anyways. Follow me. Goblin! There's a man white with skins where useful materials may hide. Hmm. This way to the water god's altar. Uh huh. We're going the right way now. And then I hope, like I said, they make some quick access menus, maybe with the D-pad or something like that. I'd not want to attempt that for Terrain is wild and bad. Oh gosh. <laughs> best choose on my Like Nier Automata system, if you ever played that. You can access item usage while playing and fighting. So you don't have to pause the menu like I have to do there and then select it over. Cross this river and we've arrived. Hello, mate. I'll make her be good. Are you the Arisen, sir? I am of the party sent to survey the ruins. I've seen no sign of Brother Jean. He had gone on ahead. I dearly wish I could run to his aid, but as you've seen, I am the Faith's greatest craven. I beseech you, sir, find Jean within and see him safe. 
I've learned what to do. Okay. John. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Hey, <laughs> I like how frantically she says it. Oh, we're gonna do the best we can. We're soaked. Scholars of the sea see the water go all wet. It was like a bathroom, but I would see. Oh, well, feel free to shoot one of these bats down with your magic, guys. Come on. Oh, I'll take that. Or so they say. In truth, no one knows the of this place. Snakes and everything everywhere. You like our green wash? Green wash. Warlock's out, that's cool. Canyon root, Janine root, Skenshin root, large coin pouch, coin pouches, coin pouches, we like that. Well, we got a thousand health now, guys. That's cool, I didn't even notice that. We need some kind of gem to open this. We'll get nowhere till we found that key. Okay. John! If the water would be easier, we might be searching this area. Now. Okay, so we know we can't go down there until we change the water level. It'll be the same over here, I'm sure. Conventional means won't see us across. Oh no, this has. Okay. Thunderclaps. What? What? Nice, we got a new staff. A staff charged with shocking power by a master sorcerer. It's thunder, enchantment, never flags. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean that we... I like how weapons have special abilities. Like every weapon you get from the Black Cat in the town of Grand Sor in the city capital has some kind of unique ability, whether there was one shield that heals you in the daylight, uh, one shield that does some kind of like suck the health away from people, one shield that you know, infuses you with lightning damage and all sorts of stuff. Staff charged with shocking power by a master sorcerer. Yeah, so it's got lightning attack. Okay, let's see what happens when we get that to Muad'Dib. Not much of a trade-off. We'll wait on that until we upgrade it and see if it gets any better. Ah, oh, the Oh god, hello. Oh. You can do that too, see guys? That moves off. I'm sure these guys will be back with Dragon's Dog with you. I saw it. I'm just gonna stand there and watch the guys die. The Strider may not be very powerful, but she has, or he has a lot of stagger moves in his collection, I'll say that. Most of your powerful attacks stagger. To shut tight. Oh, sorry, I'm warriors here. You coming? What's up? Sorry! Whoops. I love when that ice pill ice pillar comes up out of nowhere. And just destroys everybody. Why did I give that to him? I wanna get Leave it to us! Give it a taste of ice! Get it! 
mazers are the most powerful ones in the game. Water God alters lever. Okay, cool. Giant coin pouch. Sure, we need that lever. We'll take some scales here. Look at all these coin pouches. Holy cow. Interesting. That's 10,000 gold we found near bronze gauntlets. Check out the bronze gauntlets. Fighter, Mystic Knight, Warrior, Bronze Gauntlets that protect the lower arms. Stellar performance for the price, hence their great popularity. Okay, but we can't use them. None of our guys can. We have three mages and a strider. So we got the lever. Anything else around here? Waterfall. Genshin Leaf. I want to collect those. Guess we can turn our lantern on. We're dried off now. The blood on the ceiling. Ew. Whoa, hello. Double jump. Double jump will save us. Seven the tail will weaken the beast. All their slate. I am poisoned. Watch your Turns out, who cares? We'll get back in a minute. So we can mine some stuff over here. Saurian! Saurian! I should train the Saurians! Oh! <laughs> the tail is severed! We yeah, have triumphed. He's dead. Between you, me, and the lightning. Monsters arisen. Ready yourself. Cool how, how they get frozen. You can break them into pieces like that. I like how your elemental damage has an actual visual difference and effect on them. Shows you people actually tried. Report Jean's demise to Haslet. Yep. Uh, shall we report him? Uh, we will after we. Oh, it's this thing. I'll stun it with a bolt of the arm! It's a little bit stronger than another one. Attack! We're still gonna tear this guy up, though. Let it be eyes of lightning before it rises! There you go, just keep rocking him. Fuck's sake, just keep rocking him. Oh, Quick and dirty. 
Yeah, like I said, guys, Mac, if you want to get through the game <clears throat> without having any trouble, just bring three mages. I like them just because of the style I play. I like to get in there with my daggers, my bow, and be physical with it. Binder arrow, that's cool. Blinder arrow, excuse me. I thought that was a binder arrow. It's not. Next, I would say it would be... Wait, what's going on here? I, I want to go up. Are you all right, Master? Yep. Battle Greaves. Those sound good. Can't use them. A pair of common warrior's greaves. We've had them before because it didn't say new equipment. What's this? Water God's Altar Key. Excellent. That's right by the entrance. Oh, look at these. More chests. We love these kind of treasure chests. Treasure, perhaps? Violet Ring. And the Ring of Purpure. Magical ring reminiscent of a violet pansy offers protection against Thundershook. Okay. Thundershock, excuse me. A magical ring that shines a bright violet heightens resistance to thunder. Okay, so these are all thunder based stuff here. So I think it's telling me that somewhere there's a lightning boss in here, is what that's telling me. But I don't know if that's true or What's not. That? I don't remember any of this. But I think we'll go back to the entrance. What's this? Use the water gods, water gods altar key. Oh, why'd you jump so soon? But you made it. You're lucky. Bronze cuirass. So there's all this bronze armor in here. We can't use any of it. <clears throat> Bronze armor that protects the entire body. Stellar performance for the price, hence its great popularity. Pretty much the same thing as the gauntlet said. think this is part of the main story. I think you can go right now once you discover his body. I don't even think you have to beat the ogre. I think you can just discover his body and report it back. But we'll do all this stuff while we're here on the water god's altar, because I don't remember any of this. Got treasure. Whoa. This guy's a little one. So the invisible ones are smaller and stronger. We have Liquid Vim. We like that. Take that. That's a huge one. Liquid Vim is unlimited stamina for a limited amount of time. Take my fire! There we have.
over in Cumbria, I can't pick up the dire wolf bow. Okay, so we gotta transfer some stuff to our other guys. He's very light, so we're gonna give him all sorts of stuff. Still pretty heavy. That altar piece is pretty heavy. Why do we have 60 skulls? What? What? The hell did that happen? Okay, that's I think as good as we're gonna do for right now. Pick up the direwolf bow. Folk engine there is no combat need to be grueling. If the party needs adjusting, adjust it. Well, it's definitely not grueling, I'll tell you that. It's super easy. We get a lot of these Genshin leaves. What do we do with these? Let's see. I think we're in the episode here in just a minute. Let's see what these roots do. Drought. Okay, cool. Well, that's about all we can figure out with that. Huh. A mechanism of some sort. Oh, there we go. Drop the water level. Alright, guys, we come back. We'll continue exploring the Water God's altar. Oh, let's check out that Darbo real quick before I leave. I don't think I can use it. Dire wolf bow? Yeah. It's for the assassin or the archer. Or strider, excuse me. Bow wrapped in dire wolf pelts. It can withstand hard use in the wilds without raising a single blister on the hand. Cool. And we're not going to use it. We're going to let one of our other guys hold on to it for us. Mr. Muadi, please. So, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next episode. I'm lucky. Later.